So, hello everybody, my name is Christy Bragg. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's at the age of 58, I'm now 46. And I found Lillian online when I was doing my own research around more holistic treatments, more integrated treatments of Parkinson's. And um, because I found through my own journey of healing is that often what we think of as a physical symptom is often actually an emotional reaction to something. And that, that led me to Lillian's understanding and her course, which resonated a lot with my, what my own thinking was in my own research. Not only, not only of you know, online courses and other therapeutic uh, treatments, but also through scientific research, because I am a scientist by training. So I did Lillian's online course, and a lot of it was very similar to what I just discovered in other, in other fields. And so Lillian gives, has done a lot of research into this, and she gives some really amazing uh, ways of thinking, um, ways of practicing, ways of how to change your values and your beliefs, you know, not to be stuck in old ones that are limiting you and are actually impacting you in ways that you're not able to see for yourself. And she guides you through this amazing way of thinking, a different way of thinking, and it's a different belief system, in fact. So Lillian's course gives you so much more feedback than I can ever give you on it. And she gives you the science behind it. She gives you tools and solutions and tricks. And, and she also does amazing therapeutic aspects as well. So one of the things that I have learned from the course was how to be more in touch with my body. But I've lost, you know, I've lost a lot of the trauma patterns because of through Lillian's work. And um, I've learned to be much more in touch with my body. So I learned that my stem stand on my foot was actually sore. I haven't been aware that it's sore because I just haven't had that mind-body connection. And so I went to a foot surgeon and I went to physio today and said, let's, you know, what is this? Is it serious? How can we deal with it? How can I walk better? Because there are lots of things you can fix without medicine. There are lots of things you can fix with just a bit of hard work and going to the right people. You know, medicine is a lot like science. With all, all these people operators in silos. So they don't look at the bigger picture. They don't see, okay, well, maybe you've got scoliosis like I have. Because you've been sitting at a desk all your life. And that is what made your shoulder go down. So it's just, that's not Parkinson's related, you know. And if I would, if I hadn't gone to look and to see why I've got sore in my spine, then I wouldn't have known that. So that just puts me on a new journey, which is all part of the fun. I have to accept that I don't know all the truth. You know, nobody knows the truth. We can't make assumptions about Parkinson's because there's no scientific proof that they can do and make a diagnosis on. They don't have that. And every single person's Parkinson's symptoms are completely different. For me, that's not science. That means there's something else going on. There's a syndrome of stress-related things. And it might be that there's a virus that exacerbated it, or there might be heavy metals in the brain. But you can deal with those things and then slowly let your body heal to what it can and accept the things that you can't, you know, when I allow my emotions to feel for you. So to be more aware of... of what I'm feeling and to understand what I'm feeling. It's just being aware of the thing. That's the, what's that's the beauty of the online course. It just gives you a new level of awareness. And once you become aware, that gives you the power to change. You can't change what you're not aware of, you know? So knowledge is power. And that's, what, that's what's great about the online course. How you practice those tools is, you know, it depends on you and, and, the, and the extent to which you accept help from other people. And that's also been something that I've struggled with is to accept help from people and that's what I'm learning to do. <laughs> you know, I don't have to be the queen. I can just be just a normal girl, you know, making my way through life. 